Uh, long time ago. I no idea if this works. As usual. And yeah, uh, this is just a random thing. I haven't planned anything, and let's see if it's even possible. But I got this one on the mail. And it comes here. Uh, I bought this as a dad, and it will be fun to maybe see if I can get that one working. So let's see. Maybe short, maybe long, maybe nothing. Let's see. Anyway. Uh, so, doing this high enough, and as you can see under here under the microscope, we have some really big corrosion from the battery. So, let's see what we can do. First of all, I guess we need to clean off here <coughs> and see. If we can remove anything, and I can see here under here that uh, we do have an issue. Yes, we have to remove that IC first. And you can just love the smell from battery oxide Gorgeous, right? Let's see if I can get some better image there. Okay. First, we need to clean the apps, those pads. Put some flux. And hope you can hear me. Anyway. Uh, haven't actually checked your audio. See if this is repairable or I will do a PCB swap on this one. It would be fun to have it working. Damn this smell! Oh! Oh! Ugh. Ugh. If these pads are even rescuable? That's a big question here. <laughs> Maybe this will be a really short stream because the board is really fucked up. Yeah. Uh, This is what battery does for you. It's totally gone. All pads are gone. Huh. Well, this was a short stream, I guess. Oh, there is something there. There is something there.
Maybe, maybe. So, I need to get my dental tools here and see if I can scrape off something. Not using my tweezers. It's a bad habit to use your tweezers to scrape with. Dental tools for nothing on eBay are much better. This is. Maybe go to the heavy stuff instead. I use some sandpaper. This is heavily corroded. And see what we can do. I have a spare plan for this one if it doesn't work, so this board will be working again in some way or another. It's hard to see the, what you can see and I can see is two different things. Some more flux and see if we can get those pads to grab any solder. By the way, this is my board. I bought it so I can do hard stuff on it if I want to. Rub some hard here that more Q tips. What do you see? There are actually some kind of paths under this massive corrosion. Maybe even if I get this one running, I will do PCB transfer later anyway because of this corrosion. But just to, for fun, see if we can get an old board like this to work. Okay, we have some pads here. Can they grab some solder now? Do you think so? Flux on, flux on, flux off. Okay, they do grab some solder anyway.
and the reason I go on this ship is because it's usually this one that is broke on the Apollos due to the battery on the right side here and what this ship does is uh, to divide the 50 megahertz clock in this case as this is a 25 megahertz or 40 into two and we have this okay now we need to check if we have a connection on it and for that we need to have some kind of sheet and I don't have really the schematics but I have close to it sorry this file I will not send it to anyone but here we have sprint file and so that one should be connected like that and that works just fine that one should be connected there to that in here and that one works as well and that one we call check later because I can't really check it now and should go to the jumper yeah it works as well fine and we have this one that goes there to that one also works fine and uh, those two I don't have then I do another one and some special case here uh, okay like that check here uh, so that one and that one should be connected yes and that one and that one yes okay uh, this is interesting can we can we really be that lucky can we be that lucky so it was just a pin that was gone and it works putting in a new ship see if we can do This would be really fun if this was the case. Let's go to cam there. This can't be working. And it works! <laughs> Bam! So, that was the stream, short stream. How to repair an Apollo 1240. Ha! Damn. I never expected that one to boot that quickly. That's for sure.
uh, but there it is putting diagram uh, now I have to decide if I want to keep this board or move it to uh, to uh, something like this PCB instead but uh, anyway uh, quite short thing that uh, an Apollo 1240 usually is that clock chip and fully working O40 board will soon be a O60 in some kind and well that's the it I, I guess ah, that made my way thank you for watching and uh, maybe I will do more streams like this thank you and bye